Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Ethan, this is Cameron. Welcome to the series where I teach you how to build a Discord or pop up for your server. Today we are talking about custom prefixes in the server. Now I do have a few things to talk about uh, before we get into it. The first of which is that it's been a little while, uh, well it's, it, it hasn't been that long for you since the last video. For me it's been a very long time since I recorded the last video, it's been a few weeks. So if, if things seem, if, so if that shows then I apologise. Unfortunately with this video it did kind of show a bit. So hopefully it's still helpful, um, and also the GitHub repository is now up on um, it's now up on GitHub for you to enjoy. Um, I'm doing this video, I'm doing this introduction after I've done the video because the video didn't go quite as as planned. Um, so we are talking about multi-server guild prefixes, multi-server guild prefix. Prefixes, well done, Brain. We're talking about multi server prefixes, even though this is a single server bot. Wasn't originally going to do that, but it just kind of turned into that. This video is a little bit of a mess, but I think it would still be helpful because it does show you what to do, at least, um, <clears throat> and how to do it with database and stuff. So hopefully it's still helpful. Um, but yeah, I'll hand it over to the me from 25 minutes ago that just started recording this video. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is we're going to come into our init. Um, file we're not gonna need anything else from here and we are gonna to need to do a few things so the command prefix here is what you set at the start currently it's set to prefix up here um, in a single server setup this is fine however we may not necessarily want that you may be able to mention the bot as well so we can actually set this to get prefix which is a method that we are actually going to define because you could just pass a, a function sorry it's not a method if it's outside of a if it's outside of a class <clears throat> and we can do get prefix and because we hand it to the command prefix attribute uh, the API automatically passes the bot object and the message object into it so we do need to do that properly uh, and then we need to return stuff we need to return something and we actually need to import something as well from this called .est commands and I'm actually going to make this 14 there we go almost forgot <laughs> Uh, import when mentioned. Oh god, it's been a long time since I programmed at 14. For I normally program at 12. Um, so what we can do here is we can do when mentioned or our prefix. So that would be our plus prefix. Uh, and then because when mentioned or returns a function of its own, we actually need to do this. <clears throat> uh, so this when mentioned or is more or less equivalent to just having a function that adds the mention string to it. All uh, all this does is return a mention string and it returns more or less the same function um, that we also then need to pass bot and message to. Um, so it's a bit it's a bit weird <laughs> like that. Um, but that in theory should work. Um, and then as you can see I've already had a take at this video, do apologize for that. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> so if you mention the bot, we're actually going to need to mention it with a command, that would probably help. Say the help command for example. There we go, we can now mention the bot and it is our command. So we now have all our all our fantastic help that we did in the last video. Um, and then we can also do the same thing using our plus and it will... There we go. <laughs> uh, and then Discord won't show us that it's done that and then, and then be weird. Um, so as you can see we have the help command from our prefix as well. Um, so now we have multiple prefixes, but we want more, we want custom prefixes. Uh, now this is the bit that is going to get hypothetical. If you're in a single server bot you don't need to watch any further in the video, but a, a multi-server bot you might want to. Um, <clears throat> so in a multi-server bot you would have, as part of your database, you would have, let me actually get the SQL up so I can better explain it. Uh, you would probably have, well, well you probably have a table such as this. Uh, if not exists, uh, guilds uh, or something or like settings maybe. Uh, we'll, just, we'll have it as guilds. Um, and then, yeah, let's actually hit the right button, that would be nice. Uh, guild ID integer primary key and then your prefix of a text which you can default to the one that you want so say for us it would be plus um, 
you can have this and then when you run the database it will it will create this table and it will put a, the gil id in it and it will put the prefix in as a plus so that will just be a default one that it automatically uses um i'm going to comment that out because again we're not going to be using it but i i feel as though it would be useful to keep it there um so what we can do is in here we can actually uh, get the prefix. So with our system, it would be db.field uh, select whoops, prefix prefix from guilds where um, <coughs> guilds id equals that, and we can pass in message dot guild id. And then, oh, we actually need to um, start to a variable, uh, and then prefix. So we can do something like that. So we uh, we then get the prefix from the the database or the um, that would be it'd be lowercase guild, sorry, uh, from the guilds table where our guild ID equals our message guild ID, and then uh, we can have a, a when mentioned or so it's uh, whenever the bot has been mentioned, and then our custom prefix. Um, <clears throat> and then to actually change the prefix we would come down here we would create a command I like to create commands um, below all the all the asynchronous definitions and above all the actual events so that in this example that will be here uh, I don't think we do we have command imported I actually don't know <laughs> We just have a, no, we don't. So we actually need to import two things. We need to import command, and we also need to import has permissions, which we haven't actually talked about yet. Um, I'll, I'll briefly mention. I'll talk about it more in the moderation stuff because obviously people might have left the video now. But you can do something like uh, has permissions, and then if you want, to say, oh no, anyone uh, with managed server permissions can change the prefix. We can do something like this. <clears throat> An async def uh, change prefix self ctx and then new, which is going to be a string. So what we can do is put a limit on the on the on the prefix length. So we can say if len new is greater than five, we can do await ctx sends select nope. Why am I doing an SQL statement in there? Uh, prefix the Prefix cannot be longer or more than five characters in length. <clears throat> and we can also have an else down here. We await ctx.send prefix set to and then uh, new. There we go. Uh, and we can do here db.execute, not load extension. <laughs> Uh, update guilds set prefix equals that where guild id equals that and then we can pass in new and it would be ctx when that's ctx dot guild id <clears throat> so what that would do is it would set the prefix to the the actual guild id and you know what i might actually get this to run and see if it works because i'm I might as well. No, I basically built the whole system. I might as well do this. Uh, one thing I just realised I messed up. This is actually managed guild, not managed server. <laughs> uh, this is the rewrite branch, not the async branch. Okay, so I made a few changes to file to see in order to get this to work. The first thing I've done is I've gotten rid of our uh, self dot prefix because prefix line, because we don't need it anymore. And I've also got rid of the prefix one up here. Uh, and I've also manually added the uh, the guild ID and the prefix into the database. Uh, I wasn't actually going to do uh, automatic updating the database until later, and of course I wasn't going to do anything with guilds at all, so I'm just adding this manually for now. However, if you want a bit of homework, then see if you can work out how to automatically update this stuff. Um, yeah, I've already taken one try at this, and uh, I don't think I actually saved the database before trying to run it, so we're going to see if... We're going to see if I'm just a div, basically, and if you should be listening to me at all. So we're going to run our dice again, and then we're going to do a slap. We're going to slap our test account because it's been bad, or oh, not. We're going to slap that particular roll, which is the only roll it can see. What the... F okay, Discord. Yeah, we'll do that. 
I can't find that member because that's a roll. Um, well, that's promising. That's promising. That's a promising start. Um, let's slap S4. Can't find them. Why are you okay? Just, just I'm gonna. You just do, just do help. Just, I don't know why the slap column isn't working. There we go. Some prefix is actually working. Let's see if we can now change our prefix to say the dollar sign. That's a popular one. Did I add a message to a uh, output that it changed that? Did I forget to do that? I don't think I forgot to do that. Where did I put that? Why didn't that do it? <laughs> did it? Did that work? No, it just didn't. It just outright didn't change it at all. <laughs> right. Okay then. Give me a second to work out what the hell happened there. Right. <laughs> Okay, so after way too long of fanning around trying to find a solution to this, I found out that running a command from here doesn't work. <laughs> I never knew that. Um, so I've made a new cog called MISC. Um, I've imported all the stuff we need. I've imported the database stuff. <clears throat> uh, so I've imported check failure, which uh, this uh, basically if this fails, it, it throws a check failure error. Um, again, I'll talk about that a little bit more in... I can't remember if we talked about that ever in here, in the fun thing. I don't know, we talked about cooldowns, but I don't think we had any checks or anything. We had, we had a we had an error handling at least, which I've actually implemented for check failure here. Essentially, if, if this fails, then you need a... You, know, you don't need manage permission, you need manage server. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's called manage server in Discord uh, GUI as well, which is the weird part. Um, <clears throat> but I've added some error handling here. I've... Uh, done this, I've added stuff, I've imported everything I think we need. This should work. Um, just out of the box now. So that's weird, I never knew, oh god it doesn't. Live.cogs, oh. <laughs> I've accidentally done a, I've done a typo and I've accidentally done a relative import there. Um, I, I never knew you couldn't run commands from the main bot, I always thought you could. But I, I guess I never tried. <laughs> I always put everything in a cog. So now if we set prefix. There we go, prefix set to, to dollar. And now if we do dollar help, it works! <laughs> we did it! We did it, Reddit! It only took 40 minutes! Um, granted, this video is only 24, it'll probably be cut down to more about 15. But I've been doing this for 40 minutes. <laughs> oh my god, but we did it! We did it, Reddit! It's amazing. I'm going to change the other thing back. Uh, that command does not exist. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was getting really confused. My head is just... <laughs> right now. So, yeah. That is... <laughs> that is an extraordinarily roundabout way of how to create a prefix. In Discord.py. I hope that was somewhat helpful. Um... <clears throat> Uh, but yeah, next time we're going to be doing... Well, we're actually going to be doing Welcome Members next time. That's what I was talking about. Um, but yeah, if you like the video, and so on down below. If you really like the video, then consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell to receive updates of new videos. And if you really, really like the video, then consider supporting me on Patreon because, uh, of course, you don't have to, but it'd be a really cool thing to do. Next time, as I said, we'll be welcoming new members into our server. Um, so I'll see you then.